Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to highlight the great, and I mean the great, Eugene Berger. You know, there, there are two performers that, if I could take elements of their personality and magically mold them together and then magically install them in my own character, I would be so happy. Paul Daniels. I think Paul Daniels is so personable, so friendly, so funny. He has such a great way, and he's so ingenious. And the second one is Eugene Berger. I think Eugene Berger has a sense for the drama and the theater of, of what good magic can be. I just, I just love Eugene Berger. I don't know why I haven't done a presentation until now. Let me tell you why I'm doing it now. Monday, March 14, 2022. Monday, March 14, 2022. The Columbia Conjurers, also known as the SAM Assembly 141, the Columbia Conjurers sponsored Larry, Larry Lawrence Haas to come up and do a lecture. Now, I had not seen a live lecture. I saw, I've seen many Penguin live lectures, but that's not the same thing. I have not attended a live lecture since before the pandemic began. So Larry Haas was the first live lecture I attended since before the pandemic. And Larry was promoting these books and, and other material that was developed by Eugene Berger. And, and I was just, I sat there like a child, uh, just taking it all in, filled with wonder, filled with awe, and being reminded, being reminded of what a great man Eugene Berger is. Well, I didn't have these books, you know, so, so, and I was, by the way, I was the first person, well, not the first, I was maybe the second or third to, to show up at the lecture. I had time to sit and chat with, with Larry and, and look at his dealer table and I said, Larry, you got to put these aside for me because they're not in my library. So, so he did. And then at the break time, I went up and got those. And I, I want to talk about these in just a minute. But, but I want to give you a little history on Eugene before I do. Eugene Berger was born June 1st, 1939 in Chicago, Illinois. He crossed over August 8, 2017, at the age of 78, also in Chicago, Illinois. That's one of the things I love about Eugene, too. He grew up in Chicago. He learned magic in Chicago. He performed in Chicago. He's an international celebrity, but his home base was and remained Chicago. He is a philosopher and a historian of religion. He has degrees in philosophy. He's a Bachelor of Divinity, 1964, from Yale University. He taught university courses in comparative religion and philosophy, and that, that informs his work. And I love that, you know, because when you watch Eugene Berger, you get a real sense for magic. Oh, you know, when he presents anything, it takes on a, 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 a whole new dimension. I wish I could capture that in my own performance. He was a longtime teacher at the McBride Magic and Mystery School in Las Vegas, Nevada. Magic Magazine called him one of the hundred most influential magicians of the 20th century. In 2012, he won a FISM Award for Magic Theory. I'm going to give you a list of his books. I'm going to put them down below. Secrets and Mysteries for the Close-Up Entertainer, 1982. Intimate Power, 1983. Spirit Theater, 1986. By the way, on his Penguin Live Lecture 2, not Penguin Live 1, Penguin Live Lecture 2, he gets into a lot of the Spirit uh, Theater material. It's very informative to watch him do that and to watch him explain how it should be done. So if you're interested in the bizarre side, in the spirit theater side, please give that a watch. Uh, the Performance of Close-Up Magic 1987, The Experience of Magic 1989, Strange Ceremonies 1991, Eugene Goes Bizarre 
gourmet close-up magic and of course he did the two penguin live lectures uh, which you really need to, to pick up and watch now let me talk about these uh, these are books that Eugene Eugene didn't want the material published while he was alive because he was performing this material it was his bread and butter stuff okay uh, so he didn't want it out there this is great material in each book by the way there is teaching magic a book for students and teachers of the art Eugene Berger additional material Lawrence Haas PhD um, that's book number one book number two Eugene Berger from beyond uh, and and then finally Eugene Berger final secrets um, each of these books contains an, an internet reference where you can go and watch Eugene Berger performing the effects that are explained in the books. Uh, what you will learn when you, when you read these books and when you watch these videos is you will learn how to present magic in such a way that it becomes magical. Uh, Eugene Berger, this, this is a college education in how to be a magician. It truly is. Uh, I, I cannot speak more highly of this material. Uh, to be able to take a book which which is, is, is just absolutely wonderful in and of itself and then supplement it with never before seen uh, video material of Eugene himself performing the material. I, I mean it's just invaluable. It's just invaluable. Um, I will tell you that it, it, what the Larry Haas gives you the link when you go to the link, it's asking you for a password, and the password changes. Because he's asking you for a different word from a different page of the book every time you go back to visit. It's kind of funny that way, but that's the way he set it up. Anyway, folks, uh, I, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I've impressed upon you the importance of Eugene Berger and his work. I think it's really worth your time to study anything created or written by Eugene Berger. Uh, it is worth your time and study and effort. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate that you do. Please subscribe if you've not done so already. Please comment down below. I love your comments. Folks, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.